Good day everybody, how's it going? I'm the Tomeister and welcome back to another episode of Argamel. This is episode 2 of the series and in today's episode we are going to be expanding... No, what's going on over here? Oh crap. Uh, yeah, okay, so we need some more power. Our power availability is quite low at the moment, uh, so stand by. There, luckily we had loads of money left in our bank to provide some more power to the city. But yeah, these coal power plants don't provide a lot of power. 40 megawatts compared to, let's say like nuclear power plant, 640, yeah. But you know, what else can you expect? It's like the, the first power plant that you have unlocked. So we'll just have to invest in some better power plants once they become available. Um, so yeah, with our power situation resolved, uh, let's look at expanding north. Um, so there's probably not a whole lot of interesting stuff that's going to happen in this episode. I'm not sure like which, um, I guess like progression milestones are up next. So I really can't like predict what's going to happen in this episode. But anyways, we're going to expand north. Yeah, these power lines here are kind of useless now. Let's get rid of those. And maybe... I don't know, these kind of look cool. Yeah, we'll keep them for now, whatever. Actually, you know what? I'm going to place a nice park here, right by the water. Right in the middle here. And maybe let's have a street going up this way. Oops, well, I kind of screwed that up. Here, let's do this. We'll have some luxury housing right over here. So yeah, as you can see, our grid pattern is now going to change. I'm not really sure why I did this, but I don't know. A lot of cities tend to like have changing grid patterns like these. And let's maybe have like another big avenue going. Oh, what's this? Abandoned farms or abandoned houses. Let's get rid of those. Let's maybe have like another main avenue. Not enough money. Oh my god, guys. Where did all our money go? We had like 20 grand at the start of the episode. Oh well. In the meantime, let's just plop down some more housing, I suppose. So we'll have a nice street going in back here. Let's load this up with a bunch of commercial and some more residential. I'm actually having a ton of fun, guys. I don't know about you guys. You guys are probably used to seeing gameplay of like vanilla city skylines because I'm sure that there's a ton of people providing enough content on YouTube. But, but for me, anyways, who um, I have not played the vanilla version of the game in years. This is like a ton of fun. Not enough educated workers. Okay, do we have any additional? We have, a, oh yeah, okay, so we have a high school now. We would probably want to educate our citizens a bit further than elementary level. Wow, the education radius is not too far on the elementary schools. So how much is a high school? $24,000. We have $1,500 in the bank, uh, but we are making about the same weekly, so we should be at our target goal um, soon enough. So yeah, let's just accelerate the game speed to max, and we'll just have to wait it out. I actually really like these buildings. They're like Art Deco. I'm not even sure like what you would call this style here, but it looks kind of cool. I really like these buildings, like I've used a ton of this exact building in Timbuktu in a whole bunch. It's it's sort of like a your classic duplex kind of looking building. It looks really great. So we have some mid-rises coming up here. Central Hotel, this is nice. Oh yeah, that's right, okay, so we can add historical buildings now, so if we really like a building, we can keep it, so. 
I'm gonna mark this as a historical building. Oh crap. Well, I guess we didn't get our educated workers here soon enough, and some of our buildings have become abandoned. And because we don't have the abandonment mod anymore, uh, I have no choice but to destroy these buildings manually. So that's another task that we'll have to keep on top of in Argamel. Um, one little thing I want to mention, guys. Uh, some of you are probably wondering where the Argamel name came from. Um, I don't know, it's it's a city name that I invented like years ago when, uh, I don't know, I used to play SimCity 4 and that name has always been in my vocabulary, I guess, for like town names. Um, I'm actually surprised that I haven't used it thus far, so uh, I just took it upon myself to name the city Argamel, and I don't know, I just like the name. It sounds nice. Yeah, and as expected, traffic is probably going to be a big issue in this area over here, so we're probably going to have to eventually build a giant mess of an interchange um, to better service these industries over here. Uh, okay, so I think we have enough for our high school. Nope, maybe not. Oh yeah, it was 24000 So like a couple of thousand dollars more to go. I'm still not certain what this community school is. Like, there's no... Allows children to get education and grow into educated adults. So would they go to, like, a community school until they're fully grown? Rather than, like, going to elementary school and then high school? Education is requirement for buildings to level up. Higher level industry requires educated workers. All right. Well, let's just wait another minute or so, and we'll place down a nice high school in town. Hmm. I'm thinking this street is kind of steep. No, it's not too bad. I'll leave it. Not enough educated workers. Yeah, a lot of our businesses are suffering because we don't have any educated workers in town. So I'll have to hurry up and get that set up. So, okay, we do have enough money now. Now, where shall we place our brand new high school? I don't want to place it against the main avenue. Um, I guess... I guess I'll just place it right here in this corner. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, right there. We'll try to destroy the least amount of houses that we can. And I suppose I'll just get rid of this power line here. It's kind of a nuisance. Do we really need that? Not really. And look at that. It gives us a little extra room for some residential. It's a win-win for everybody. All right, so we got our high school down. We'll start to get some educated workers soon enough. Our businesses will be doing a lot better. So let's start to expand a little bit more north. Uh, yeah, I said I was going to change up the grid pattern, so let's do that. Now this is probably going to cause some issues with this avenue over here, but actually, you know what, let's get rid of this. Okay, let's have our main avenue come up like this, and then we'll have it curve into just like that. That actually looks really nice. What do you guys think? That's not too bad, is it? And then it allows us to change our grid pattern without losing a ton of space. Nope, ran out of money. 
Okay, well at least we have a road layout down. I'm gonna try to leave a little bit more space in case we want to place down some, uh, what are these, unique buildings. Because you know, some of them can be quite large. And with this being downtown, you know, we'll, we'll try to make our block sizes a little bigger. Oh, and look at that. Already we're seeing less, um, like, demand for educated workers, so that means that they're getting jobs. Unfortunately, this building did not survive, so we'll just have to get rid of that. Do building Can buildings become, like, unabandoned? I'm not even sure, guys. Like, that's how much limited knowledge I have about So far, game. so good. Look at that. We're doing great. Um, so for school... Hospitals... Do we have anything for death care? What's this? Sports hall in gym. $120,000. So yeah, we're probably not gonna place that anytime soon. Garbage processing status. Uh, okay, we don't have any additional garbage processing buildings, so we'll just have to live with that for now. Water availability is good. Power is starting to dwindle down just a little bit, but we're plenty good for now. So yeah, let's just keep focusing on expanding the city, growing our population. Oh crap, yeah, so of course we don't have any water availability issues. All of these people don't have water at all. So let's get some pipes placed down here. of how this is all gonna look. Maybe I'll, I'll get rid of this and like keep that same grid pattern for this whole area. Maybe I'll keep the grid pattern for like this entire square, maybe like the next square up, but this part of the city down below here, if we even have some squares available, Oh, look at that, we can already buy an additional square. That's great. Um, but yeah, so I'm assuming like this part of the town over here, we would probably want to change our grid pattern from this way to like completely straight. I don't know. I'll probably just leave it like this and have like this little section here as is. It'll save us a little bit of money too. You know, we gotta play the game strategically more than normal. With uh, the city having a limited budget, you know, you can't, uh, can't go out of your way to create some crazy things as you might want to. Oops. There, I'm gonna... Stop going crazy with the roads for now. And I'm gonna place down some more residential over here and over here. Oh, okay, we got plenty of water pipes. Water availability is starting to trickle down a little bit. That's not a huge issue right now, though. And of course, traffic is becoming an issue over here as expected, but until it stretches like this entire stretch of road, I'm not really worried about it. You can see it, it's still quite effective just the way it is. Okay, so we do have industrial roads. What do these, how do, two-way concrete road with two lanes, small industry road is cheaper than regular two-lane road, but generate more noise and pollution. Oh, boom town, nice. Uh, okay, so I should have probably thought of placing these down before. I'm not even sure if there's an advantage of placing them down at this point, but they look cool, so why not? Yeah, that looks cool. 
I'm not even worried if it creates more noise or pollution. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so what have we unlocked? I haven't really read through it. Uh, okay, so we do have a cemetery now, so people are allowed to die now in Argamel. Oh, it fits perfectly over here. So yeah, let's have our first cemetery over here. What do we have here? Child Health Center. Elder Care. We don't have any elder people right now, do we? So let's go into our demographics. Uh, where would that be? Natural resources. This right here. Population. Seniors, 16%. I don't think it's necessary to have an old folks home just yet. Let's wait until this reaches like 25% maybe. Because our population is quite young still. Child Health Center. We should probably place one of these down. What does this do anyway? Child Health Small Healthcare Facility it increases birth rate within the building's radius and offers health services to children and teens, creating health benefit. Okay, $18,000. We have like $55,000 in our bank, so plenty of money left over. Now let's go ahead and place one of these down. Let's get our population booming. Uh, where do I want to place this? Yeah, maybe like right here, I suppose. Oh, what do we have over here? Medical helicopter depot. No, we don't need that yet. And of course the gym. We're nowhere near getting that now. Police and fire station coverage. Uh, still pretty decent. Fire station could use a little bit of work, but I think it's all right. And our healthcare services. We're doing all right. Uh, so yeah, our demand is pretty stable. At what point can we get into like some custom factories and things? I don't know. We'll wait a while for that. Not a huge concern. Let's maybe have a dog park over here. Get some land value boosted. More residential, plenty of potential. That's like the channel slogan officially, guys. So let's speed this up a little bit. At what point, I think it's like 7,000 people or 10,000. No, I think, it, I think it's like 7,500 people that we unlock high density residential. So once we start getting into that, uh, oh, 7,000 people, okay, for high density commercial as well. And yeah, it's 7,000. Uh, so at that point, we can really start to shape downtown a little bit. Get some high density going on over here. I'm not going to look at purchasing another tile just yet. I'm going to wait a while for that. I'd like to fill up at least this entire section across the highway, maybe even like this top part for looking at expanding. Um, I'll let you guys decide actually. So probably by next episode or maybe the next episode after that, I don't know, depending on how everything goes, um, we're going to look at expanding. So what do you guys think? Should we expand south over here? So we have some nice beaches and you know, we can really, we can really create something nice down here. There's plenty of room. Or should we expand north or even east? I'm not even sure like which way is really north, but anyway, l let me know guys where we should expand. Even like over here, we have plenty of room to build stuff. We have some railroads, two separate lines, which is very great. We can separate our commercial and um, like passenger rail lines. So that's really great. Thank you, Mr. Miyagi for that. But, oh crap, okay, yeah, I guess we're getting a power shortage. All right, so we still don't have, oh no, we have plenty of power. What's going on? I'm not sure what that whole thing was. 
Alright, okay, well, let's just ignore that that ever happened. And let's just continue on. I'm kind of worried about my industries now, guys. We're getting a lot of traffic over here. I think... I think what I may do... Because we're still only capable of connecting to this highway. I think I'll just expand north over here. Uh, yeah, let's place down an industry road. But before that, we'll have to move this a notch over here. And then we'll take this and connect to... Oh, you know what? I'll just get rid of this little segment here and connect this all up. There we go. So we have another connection to our industries. So that should improve traffic slightly, I'm assuming. Maybe traffic coming from over here would probably take one of these exits or... I don't know, it might not do anything at all. But at least we're trying. Okay, so let's get some streets laid down. I never knew these streets were cheaper than the normal roads. If I hadn't known that, I would have plopped these down first. I find they look cooler though, like they, they, they make your industry areas look nice. So let's just place down some industries all over here and we won't have to worry about that for a while. Now let's check our services, make sure we're good. I think we're going to be good for this episode for water availability. Power is getting a little low. Let's take a look what we have coming up here, what we can unlock next, maybe if it's worth waiting. Uh, okay, so we're about, not, well, two-thirds of the way to unlocking an oil power plant, which gives us a huge power output compared to our coal power plant. I'm not sure if we're gonna make it though. Right now it's a race between getting our population up to unlocking the oil power plant and having enough electricity to power all of those extra people that are going to move into town. So we do have quite a residential demand right now, so let's focus on booming our population as much as we can and we'll see who wins the race. So we'll do commercial all along this road. And these back streets will be completely filled with houses. Eventually what I'm going to have to look at doing guys is like probably expanding this shoreline making it a bit wider uh, because I do would well I would like to place down some fisheries eventually and this looks like a pretty neat spot to have those maybe even like a port well I don't know maybe a port would be more appropriate on the other side of the river where we'd have like a ton of industries and you know where it wouldn't totally disrupt downtown in terms of pollution and all that uh, but yeah, I don't know. We might have to terraform this whole shoreline eventually. Oh my god. Okay. Oh crap. Well, that's not good. Gotta get some water over here ASAP. No, I'm totally expecting like a huge death wave at some point or maybe like polluted water entering our system and getting a whole bunch of citizens sick. Um, yeah, so like expect a lot of like situations like that. And what are these guys complaining about? Not enough workers. But we have plenty of workers. Our residential demand isn't even that high. Well, whatever. 
we'll just let them complain for now. Okay, so let's check our population situation before wrapping up here. We're going to wrap this episode up pretty soon. Uh, so electricity, yeah, I think electricity availability is going to become a concern before we're able to unlock the oil power plant. So let's wrap up the episode with placing down a coal power plant near, well, we don't really have any empty spaces left. Um, let's take a plant that's complaining of not enough workers right by the highway here. Yeah, there, that'll shut them up. So yeah, an additional power plant will give us plenty of availability until we have enough population for the oil power plant. And we'll just worry about that at that point there. Uh, cash wise, we're doing really great guys. We have like $83,000 in the bank. We have a nice emergency fund if something bad were to happen. So that's all good. Um, in terms of like disasters, we have disasters enabled. Um, random disasters. Would you guys like to have that on? I feel like that would add a difficult, well, a, a level of both difficulty and um, it would make the game a little bit more interesting, but I'm going to leave it off for now. Let me know, guys, if that's something that you would like to see, random disasters. I'll let you guys decide. But yeah, this is it for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we didn't do too, too much, honestly, but we expanded north uh, just like we wanted, really. And yeah, so if you like this episode, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel for many more videos to come. And until the next episode, guys, please take care.